video is just gonna be kind of like a life update about my struggle with burnout. Let's get into it. I guess for this video, I just want to kind of. Well, I hope that this video helps somebody that is also feeling chaotic and a mess. Because right now I'm on teaching break and my burnout is probably like kind of at its highest right now. I've been going through for a while. So hopefully this helps someone with similar challenges okay so i started noticing really that i was kind of like running myself out and feeling overwhelmed because a few months ago i just realized i was sleeping a lot more my family also started to notice i would sleep like a lot um that still currently is a struggle for me um, I was very anxious, um, I get very moody at times and sometimes oh, it's the feelings of those around me because I'm so moody and I just even though like I sleep, I'm sleeping, I'm sleeping so much but it's like I'm really getting sleep so I'm like constantly drained, constantly tired and feeling like there's this constant weight on my shoulders and it's just like you feel like kind of like a like a zombie zombie yeah but you feel like kind of like a zombie that's just like going through the motions trying to get each day done and it's just like i do my day as best as i can and then it's like straight to bed and the struggle is like so hard not to just come home and get into bed and just lay there and sleep I fall asleep and it's like a constant thing because it was upsetting me and making me so sad it still is because I'm still struggling with it um where I'm like losing time with the people I want to spend time with the people I love and I can't get my college work done um I'm struggling to keep up with things I want to do I guess keep teaching back right now is good for me because it's forcing me to have to do things and challenging myself to get up and do things but at night when I come home I'm so tired and I like just want to lay in bed um yeah and like it's difficult because it affects your relationships and your work your productivity and it just makes your self-esteem really low like I I don't exercise anymore and I used to exercise so much and I've gained so much weight and I'm not saying it's because of the burnout but I've just I've gained so much weight since I stopped looking at it and it's so depressing and it's just been messing with my mental health and my anxiety and depression and making it so much worse um I don't know if you guys can see but my skin is kind of like messed up um i did change a few things like my hair i don't know if you guys can see it's red through the most guys i don't know if i'm supposed to do that but i've come into this why would i start it so much and then I kind of just came to a point where I was like, you know what, uh, this is where I am right now. So to try to deal with it, I basically, like I said, changed my hair. Um, I started taking more, not that I didn't, but I started taking more pride in like the way I dress, putting more effort into it. Although sometimes it is a struggle to like get up. Um... Another symptom that I didn't measure is that another symptom that I didn't mention is that when I'm anxious or 
crying a lot i get this really bad headache right here and it's been happening for a while um um i think i let it go on for quite sorry um for quite i'm just putting it on some um eyebrow gel. um i think i went let it go on for a really long time and i just wasn't doing anything about it and i just want to emphasize that change is really important and it can help a lot with going out so me changing my hair it helped a little bit i also had my 21st birthday in april which was also a big sorry a big thing for me we i learned that things are going to change and i made a decision to come back to youtube and actually take it a bit seriously not a bit actually i shouldn't say but actually take it seriously i know i missed last week friday i think i missed an upload but i forgave myself for that because it was me coming back and i felt it was thingy and i told myself that um i'll give myself like only once or twice a chance to just not form when it's like for emergency cases only so i started doing my passions again like invest in your passions and invest in your passions and invest in yourself do some self-care i haven't done self-care in a while i try to do it i still don't do it all the time but it helps to do some self-care i jot down a lot of things so like if i want not forget things want to do things i write it down either in my notes on my phone or a notepad or on my laptop i write it down because i want to remember i want to do this thing and that has been exceptionally helpful with a uh, prep right now this is no purpose i just like this this is lucky billion lucky perfect my sleep that's what i want to do my sleep so with my sleep it is a real struggle to realize that it was because of burnout and it was my mental it was affecting my mental health and like sleep actually has a huge effect on it like it made me so cranky so emotional so anxious just from not getting enough sleep but actually i was getting too much sleep as well not only just too little sleep but too much my sleeping schedule was really a mess and i felt like that was so bad so i used to i used to have really good sleep like i used to go to bed quite early and then wake up quite early but I mean, it's when you have to. So like when it's like holidays, I don't really worry about it. But um, I do try every now and then to like make sure that like I'm on par sort of with my sleeping schedule so that it fits to whatever I'm doing when I'm a teaching prep. Because like right now I need to have early nights and early mornings so i'm exhausted when i get home but it's because i'm still starting to sleep and i've been through a lot of sleep i've been to the doctor a bunch of times for my burnout for my mental health issues for i've gotten prescriptions for my anxiety i've gotten multivitamins to help with my um sleeping patterns and my feeling that feeling of burnout and constant tiredness um i thought about seeing someone i would advise if you can to get a counselor i used to have one but they no longer no longer work we i used to get my counseling sessions on which is from college but they no longer work for you so i couldn't do that and i didn't really feel like going to look for someone new oh so my sleeping is really weird for to explain it right now it's i come home and I get straight into video, which is why I'm trying not to do that today because I had to film this video <laughs> for you guys. And I also have a few lessons and things to prepare, so I really wanted to get that done. Which is why I came to sit here. Because if I had to lay down over there, I would want to sleep. If I was watching something, if I was doing my work that I need to do, I would have fallen asleep. I wake up in the middle of the night quite often. Like, sleep for a little bit, wake up, sleep for a little bit, wake up. 
and it's a constant and then with the time I actually realize that it's time to get up in my long goes so I'm just like I really don't want to get up and then I lay for a little bit and I might fall asleep again and then like the cycle just continues and it's just a really messed up sleep schedule. I tried um, these sleep and anxiety drops they did help for a while. I'm currently out so I don't know if they're working. Sleep has a really huge um, effect on your well-being so please get enough sleep. Take care of your sleep. Sleep is life. Just like people say food is life, sleep is life. My mood swings. I noticed I'm very irritable. Irritable. <laughs> um I get angry really quickly, which is very like not like me because I'm usually a very patient person. Um I would snap at my sister, snap at my mom, which I'm not exactly proud of. I would snap at them a lot. I would get really frustrated with friends and family with no bickering or but like just like they're not I think I felt like there was always something missing and it just made me like so detached from everybody and I would look for problems and look for right basically like big fights where I could like with my sister or my mom which I'm really not proud of so it takes a huge toll on a lot of things, including your relationships. To cope with those mood swings, I would usually stay in my room alone, but that's also not a good thing. So, what I try to do is usually talk to my mom. I don't need to talk to my sister, I need to work on that actually. But I would talk to my mom, sorry, about, about how I'm feeling. And I would apologize when I'm calmed down about about being rude or whatever. So that's a big part of it. So I would say if you do snap or you do you're mean or impatient with somebody or cranky or whatever, just apologize when you can. Because I know sometimes it's kind of difficult to stop that reaction but try for them try another walk away then get back to them when you can be more calmer <laughs> with my anxiety and depression i think i have spoken about it a few times on this channel with my anxiety and depression um i've always had to deal with it but with the burnout on top of that it's just like you feel so frustrated and distanced from yourself it's like you're having an out of body kind of experience where you're just like this is me but it's not me and you're kind of aware of it but like you kind of can and cannot control it so that's very frustrating it's been very frustrating for me i've had days where i um I kind of just break down or I snap and I just like it's so overwhelming I've had days where I've been in college and it's just like I can't breathe I can't think I can't do anything for that I would suggest that like if you really do need professional help I've had a few points when it's got really bad I won't say exactly what but I'm pretty sure by really bad, you know what I mean. And if it ever gets up bad, I would please, please advise you to get professional help. Talk to someone, tell someone that you're not okay. Because as hard as it is, the consequences and the repercussions and the effect that that will have on you and everyone around you is much worse. To be seek professional help, even tell someone, anybody, just be like, I'm really not okay. Like, you don't have to explain anything, but just be like, I'm really not okay. Can, like, can you, you do something, help me? And I'm pretty sure you will find someone who loves you or cares enough to actually help you. I was not on any meds for um, my anxiety, but. When I was, around the time when I was seeing a counsellor at college, she had advised me that I should 
maybe looking to getting something that I could take when it was really bad in, in those moments because of the way I struggled with my breathing and how to deal with it. Um, <laughs> I'm uncomfortable talking about this, but I feel like this is a, a safe space and I want to share it because it can help someone. Um, yeah, so she would advise me to get meds first. And for the longest time, I told her no. I'm. I don't know how some people might feel about this, but um, I said that I didn't feel comfortable with it because a lot of people told me it made you kind of so we like. Um, and I was afraid that I wouldn't be who I am if I was on meds. So I didn't do it for the longest time, and then eventually. I had the time it had gotten so bad. It was like before my birthday. Um, I went to the doctor and then they prescribed me something that was herbal. So it was kind of safe in the scenes. And now I have that for when I'm having really bad days. Especially when I get that really bad headache here or constant crying, I usually take those. So there's nothing wrong with taking meds. It doesn't mean you're weird or there's something wrong with you or you're broken. It simply means you just need a little help. And everybody needs help in some way before everyone deals with anxiety. We just all deal with it differently. So please, if it's that bad, get help. Okay. So I spoke about a lot of um, coping strategies and recovering. I can't really speak much on recovering because I'm still recovering. I'm on a really long journey and your journey kind of is never over. So what I can say is that be gentle with yourself. Be really gentle with yourself. Um, you can do your best every day and your best is going to look different every day. And I know some people watching this probably have heard me say that to them before. And I kind of need to remind myself of it sometimes. Your best is going to look different. Um, what I can say is that self-care, um, setting boundaries, and um, practicing mindfulness is huge things. Um, and believe you me, I've tried apps, I've tried journaling, I've tried everything. Probably not everything, but <laughs> I've tried a lot of things. And what I can say is just try as much things as possible because you will find something that helps you. Um, dive into your passions, even if it feels like you don't have the motivation, try it and see. Draw, paint, um, dancing, journal, um, make YouTube videos, uh, make music, go for a walk go for a run, walk on the beach, have a picnic with a friend, do a face mask, have a nice warm bath, do things for yourself, just do things for yourself that make you happy because you will, you will figure it out. I invite you guys to go below and share your own experiences and your own struggles. Please put like Please, please do it. <laughs> please do it. Um, I want to see and I want to hear. Damn, is this too cold, bro? What you doing? Like emotionally speaking, I am drained from teaching kids.